Happy Friday, YouTube. I'm so excited it's Friday, not just because I have my vlog today, but because pretty soon I'm going to Canada for a few days and I'm super excited about that. That's actually what next week's vlog is gonna be about. But this week, let's talk about magic mushrooms. What do you know about magic mushrooms? Have you tried them? Do you know somebody who's tried them? All that when we come right back. All right, confession time with Chaz. I've tried magic mushrooms. Now, in America, they're not legal. So we'll say I didn't do it in America. I did it in a country where they are legal. And it was actually an amazing experience. I am not in any shape, way, and form telling you to go out and do drugs or condoning them. But I'm just purely speaking off my experiences alone. So magic mushrooms would have that magical ingredients, psilocybin which basically allows you to do all sorts of fun things like hallucinate or feel a sense of euphoria, get rid of anxiety, maybe look inside of yourself and answer questions that in a normal state of mind you're not able to do. I'd heard about magic mushrooms many, many years ago. And when I was about 19, 20, a friend talked me into doing it. And anytime I would try anything that was an illegal substance, um, and even alcohol, I wish I did so more with alcohol, but I needed to research it, I needed to know what the side effects were, is it bad, all of this stuff. And I kind of made this rule that if it's natural, if it grows in the, the world, and it's something that ancient cultures had done, and they had done it kind of religiously, I'm open to this. I'm always open to taking something that's gonna allow me to evolve to the next level, have more compassion, have a bigger heart, whatever that may be. Um, it doesn't mean I'm going out, you know, doing lines of coke or any of that stuff. Again, natural. Um, so, she got me interested in some trying magic mushrooms, and we did it. Nothing happened for me. It was, I ate them, it was gross, I'm filled like my normal self, and then all of a sudden she starts losing herself in my eyeball, in a fun way, in a very like, she's looking at me and goes, oh my God, Jazz, your eyes are so beautiful. I'm stuck in them right now. Um, and it made me laugh and she laughed, but she had an amazing time and I had an amazing time with her. I just never felt anything. So many years go by and I finally had an opportunity where I was in a place that I was able to do it. and. I have been very open to it, actually I've been talking to friends about it, uh, saying that, you know, I was looking for a type of drug that can make me look inside myself, like ayahuasca. I've actually been wanting to go to S South America and try ayahuasca, and I think that's something I want to do next. But, I had this, it was easy, it was done, I tried it. First things first, for me personally, I suffer from a lot of stomach issues, and so it's not the easiest on my stomach. When I was younger, 19, 20, it was no problem. Um, but now, a little over 10 years later, not so easy. So uh, if you do have stomach issues and this is something that you find yourself in a place where you're able to uh, enjoy this delicacy, be pre-warned that you may have stomach issues. So instantly, for me, I got really cold. It wasn't necessarily freezing that day, it was just normal coolness and it made me want to bundle up. And. Uh, Instantly, I would say probably about like 30 to 45 minutes in, I couldn't help but smile. I just had this instant joy that was inside of me. Even though I was cold, even though I was feeling gross in the stomach, I couldn't help but smile. 45 minutes in, I started to feel kind of like the spins you get when you're drunk. And it wasn't saying that the room was spinning, but just that feeling of you're kind of letting go of your normal everyday consciousness. And I didn't necessarily like that. In that moment, I was kind of like, I would not recommend this to people. I don't know why, the, why are we doing this? Um, but I was still smiling and I would comment on it. Like, even though I'm not feeling great in the moment, I'm so happy, <laughs> so happy. So then about an hour in, I got the best laughs I've ever had in my life. I mean, just pure joy laughter, just gut, I mean, and it's so genuine and it feels so good. And through this raising you up mentally, you know, you're just so happy, you feel so connected to the world around you. Everything is beautiful. Colors, you realize in your everyday life how little you appreciate colors. I mean, they're so beautiful, so vibrant. You can look outside at the clouds and 
you feel this connection to the earth and you, you it makes you stop for a second and appreciate everything you're in. I mean, I, looking at plants or any of these things, you just realize how beautiful it all is. And normally in our everyday minds, we let the weight of the world really ride on our shoulders. Whatever we're doing with work, whatever we're stressed out about, all of these things. And at that moment, I was having a lot of those things. And I was aware of it, but it just didn't matter. And it didn't matter in the sense of uh, if I never do that or whatever, you know, like it just took the anxiety of it all away. It made me see the bigger picture so much more clearly. And it allowed me to stop and have a moment to appreciate the earth and then ultimately the universe around me. You feel this deep connection to it. And I know that sounds very spiritual, maybe hippie out there, but it's the best possible way I can describe it. And I believe it's through that connection, seeing yourself in other people, it starts allowing you to unlock stuff in yourself. Maybe questions you had while you're sober and you couldn't quite work through it. This allows you to do it in a unique way, I think, because you're in such a higher state, happiness-wise. Maybe you're working on some troubled areas inside of yourself. This happiness allows you to go in there take that younger version of yourself or whatever version of yourself by the hand and kind of rewalk through it again and learn from it. Um, as far as hallucinations went, I didn't see things like all over the place. Colors looked pretty. Maybe if I saw a picture, it might look like it was moving, kind of like a live photo. Um, what else? If I closed my eyes, <clears throat> very visual. I could see lots of stuff there. And I think that's usually when you kind of get a lot more insight. I was tripping with a friend and we were having a blast laughing going back and forth trying to look at fun things enjoy nature uh overall beautiful amazing experience that's my whole thing with shrooms the reason why i decided to share this on a channel where i'm trying to make the world a better place because i do genuinely believe if more people who are suitable for this because i don't think necessarily it is i don't think it is necessarily for everybody um but for people who are eligible for it, I think it, would, it does make us all look inside of ourselves. And the John Hopkins School of Medicine is researching it right now with things like anxiety and depression, especially for war veterans returning with PTSD. We have a lot of the answers, but funding for this hasn't gone away. And the stigma of talking about it, we even have stigma of talking about cannabis now. We're seeing it help many, many medical patients across our countries, yet there's still states in the union where it's not legal medically. There's still such a stigma about it, and we have to break these stigmas by coming out and talking about these, especially a drug like mushroom that comes from the earth or a drug like cannabis that comes from the earth. The thing is, we as humans have to be the responsible ones. If we're gonna go out and drink alcohol, or we're gonna smoke cigarettes, or do caffeine or sugar, um, we have to be responsible. All of these have consequences, and we're trying to learn about what the consequences of cannabis and uh, mushrooms are. And so far, they're nothing like what alcohol, sugar, or caffeine is. So we have to break the stigma. We have to talk about it. Like, don't like. If you want to see what happens on my trip next week to Canada, I'm going to vlog style it. Subscribe. That's the only way you're going to be in touch. You've got to turn on those push notifications. I think there's a little bell right there. Click it. Get as much of Chaz as you can. You do you, I'll do me, and I'll see you next Friday.